how do you eat some fun food while playing a game without getting all that sticky mess on you? And we hope that these are the answers. So with that being said, let's try it. What do you say? Let's just dig right uh, yeah. in and then we can talk about it. Yeah, I'm kind or of Or do you excited. want to talk about it before? Well, all right. Well, let's do, well, let's do a couple things, right? Because because we did have some important information here. So this is actually – this is more of a typical chip. Um, mm-hmm. Like I think this is this is sold in the U.S., right? So this isn't – It yeah. is sold in the U.S. Um, so this isn't like a foreign food because I think we did some, uh, some Spanish chips. Yeah, we did a – well, we before. did Mexico. Yeah. We did uh, the queso ruffles a couple weeks back. This so. is supposed to have – so, see, this is why I want to talk about this before we eat it. It's supposed to have, quote-unquote, two times the crunch. So let's make sure oh, we right take right. that into consideration. Um, yep. The thickness <laughs> of the chip, I think, is a little thicker than your standard yep. Ruffles chip. Uh, Frito-Lay was founded, fun fact, in 1932 by C.E. Doolin. Um, and there's mm. 29 snack brands today, 55,000 employees with, you know, honestly, I looked at some of these brands. I have not heard of any of these from Frito-Lay. Uh, Rolled Gold. The, the walking taco simply you ever heard of rolled gold those are like the pretzels no. oh that's what those are okay i yeah, i yeah. can picture them now but i i didn't know the okay. name was rolled gold You're picturing the bag gold. in your head now right? yeah it's like i'm just gold picturing gold blue. though yeah like a, yeah uh-huh uh Maui so, style i haven't matador i haven't seen but so yeah, let's so, we really got to think about this double crunch when we, when we rip into these right? yeah well you guys are going to be able to hear it and you <laughs> can <decide. laughs> all right all right so here we go so, right into the mic and is it any good? You know, we do. We will rate these. So, it smells good. Uh, it smells like it smells good. The 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 dusting doesn't feel too bad. Let's try it. You ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. So it's definitely a thicker chip. You know. You know, I'm willing to go out on a limb and say that this does, in fact, have two times the crunch. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, you've had regular ruffles before, right? Mm-hmm. So those are, are like, like I'm, I'm picturing eating those. I wish I had a ruffle to compare, but those are substantially thinner from what I remember. Um, and these actually have, these are solid chips. You know what these would be good for, too? I, I don't know Dip if they it? have – yeah, just, yep, exactly. I don't, well, there I don't, you go, right? Because what do you usually have with, with chicken wings, like a ranch or a blue cheese? So mm-hmm. I would go for it. And I have to say, flavor's there. Yeah. Buffalo heat's there. I mean, it, it lives up to its name. Not too hot so, either. Nope, nope, just enough spice. Um, you know, I've, I've eaten a couple. You've eaten a couple. How do your fingers look? I'm trying to see if I can get a thicker one. Um, not bad. You know, that's, you know, you mentioned dusting when you opened up the bag and I will say there are some chips that like, if you pull out the chip, right. And you look at it, it actually looks like there's like mounds of dust. Like it's, they've like piled together. Right. And that's, that's usually a pretty big sign that there's too much seasoning on it, but this one doesn't seem to have that, uh, that look. And because of that, I'm not really getting too much dust on my hand, though. But I will say, I forget what was the other chip. Was it the Doritos that we had that was from Mexico? Or no? What, no, what the was... queso. Sorry, that was queso. queso. This does have more finger gush stuff than uh, than those did. So my, my fingers are definitely dirtier from this than from the queso uh, that we had from Mexico, right? So, but overall, uh, oh, we're both still eating them, right? <laughs> so. It does give me a buffalo, a buffalo taste too. It's not just straight up spicy. It's buffalo. Yep. It's a buffalo wing. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna give these. Uh, we're doing one out of ten, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give these a solid. I'm gonna give these a solid. Ooh, I, it's between eight and nine for me. It's All right. Well, let me help you break the tie. Okay. I'm a nine. Mm, you're a nine. Oh, man. I see. I hate giving up high scores but because you, then it's that much harder. To, all right. Let me tell you why I gave it a high score like that okay. because it didn't disappoint. It checked all the boxes for me. It's okay. got the crunch. It's got the buffalo flavor to it, so it's reminiscent of eating the chicken wing in some respect, right? It, it The crunch is probably the key thing because, to be honest with you, there is nothing worse 
than a soggy buffalo wing. Okay. A crunchy buffalo wing is I can almost forgive some of the taste of a buffalo sauce <laughs> if the wing is crunchy enough because it just there yeah. it it over it overtakes it, right? So it covers that. The namesake is there. There's nothing that like you know how you eat stuff sometimes and it's like, wow, that flavor is so way off. How the hell are they even calling it that? This is not the case. This hits every single checkbox. And the only reason it's not perfect is because it doesn't quite like honestly, wow it's you be, or anything. It's not like, oh my well, god, this is amazing. It's it's gonna be extremely difficult to get a perfect score. Yeah, okay. That's what I was gonna say. So you sold me on a nine. Because you're right. It, I can't really find anything wrong with the chip per se. You know, like I said, and it's like in the dusting isn't that bad, so it's not gonna really dirty your controller up. I mean, it's you not keep Cheetos, an eye on it, obviously. It's not, it's not Cheeto dust for sure. Um, like you said, it doesn't seem to to like cover your hand. So maybe that's why I was I'm thinking an eight. Because I am thinking there's a little bit more dust than the previous chips that we tried, and maybe that's what's leading me towards towards that eight. But but I'll go with a nine. And I and I agree, it's gonna be hard to get a nine. No, 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 no. Nine. Yeah, right. I mean, honestly, we're going to have to have a gourmet meal to have. <laughs> yeah, probably. So now accepting applications to come and cook on our podcast. 